And welcome back to Bi-Weekly Who Would Win. Uh, now, it's July. The next two win this Wednesday will be the next in the Bleach Captain fight with Kenpachi Zaraki facing his unknown opponent. I still haven't figured out the opponent yet. I've had a few suggestions. I'm, we'll go, I haven't actually looked into those suggestions yet, but I will be getting to those either later tonight or by tomorrow, and I'll have the review up sometime on Wednesday. In the meanwhile, we are talking about this week's Who Will Win, and I believe the suggestion came from Corey Jackson. Thanks, Corey, for the just suggestion. And it's a really unique one. We're going Hercules versus Hercules in this fight. But we're going the Disney Hercules versus the Marvel Hercules. Now, understanding that Hercules is Hercules regardless, there are disparities, there are differences between the Hercules from one universe and the Hercules from another universe. Like, the DC Hercules is not the same Hercules as the Marvel Hercules. They both have two different Herculeses. Uh, obviously, in a point of fact, like, Kevin Sorbo Hercules is not the same as Disney Hercules, so forth and so on. So we have to understand the feats, abilities tailored to this particular Hercules. So let's look at the Mar Disney one. The Disney Hercules is Hercules. He's the son of Zeus and Hades, but unlike, um, you know, other versions there, they, Hera, uh, Hera, why did I say Hades? Son of Zeus and Hera. But unlike in, like, say, a lot of other versions, Hera doesn't hate Hercules. Hera loves Hercules. Uh, but he's mostly mortal, this Hercules. The only things that he really kept is his godlike strength, um, durability, endurance, uh, but he can, uh, and so that's what carried over. So his physicality is still godlike. And he's done things from beating a Hydra pretty much of pure physical strength by breaking a mountain down and crumbling upon the Hydra to lifting a, uh, lifting a, um, actually no, he did not lift the Cyclops because his powers were taken away at that point. And we have to use just the movie because that's the only thing adult Hercules has been in. Uh, he is a decent f uh, fighter in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Uh, he was able to take on the centaur, all right, though he had he had a fair bit amount of difficulty with it. Um, you know, he fought the lion, he fought the sea, he saw him fight the sea serpent. Um, try and think if there was any other feet. He lifted a column that probably weighed a good couple tons, no problem. He is fast on his, like, he's an out-of-the-box thinker. Like, he said, when Phil said, use your head, and he used his head. Uh, when he beat the Cyclops with not, without his um, without his strength, that showed ingenuity. So he's immensely durable. He, well, he's pretty durable. He can take a punch. He probably recovers pretty quickly too. Obviously, godlike strength. He's skilled with a bow. He's skilled with swords. But here's the thing with Hercules in terms of weakness. This Hercules is very susceptible to death. Um. If you remember in the fight, first off, you remember, he actually, I mean, he beat the Centaur, but he was getting his ass handed to him for a good portion of that fight, too. First off, it was his first fight from the gate. Uh, but it's still, he was kind of getting his ass handed to him for a portion of that fight. Then you move on to the Hydra. He took on the the, the one-headed Hydra without a huge amount of difficulty. He was a little, he was a little, like, worse for wear and, you know, a little shaken up. He was fine. He ha He was definitely not... In a good, I mean, he he was, you know, ah, I'm, I'm good, everyone. It's like kind of Goku after like a serious fight. He was, you know, he was he was alive and he was kind of jovial, but he was injured after that fight with the Hydra. He's kind of lucky that he came. In fact, hell, Hades even assumed that that should have killed him. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, he was he definitely was worse for wear after that. He was he was not sitting pretty for a little while. And there's the kitty. Uh, are you going to be bothering my videos? You're not going to bother my videos. You just want attention. And it's nice in here with my fans. So, yeah. Um, anyway. So, yeah. He's not He's not immortal. He's And he, even when he became a god, he rejected his godhood to live, uh, to live with Megara because uh, he loved her. So, yeah. He, he's, he's powerful, but, you know, he's not invincible. Cut to the Marvel Hercules. Now, this Marvel Hercules did all the 12 labors. Um, like, uh, that's another thing. We don't really know what if he, uh, Hercules went through his labors in the Disney version. We assume maybe he did a Disney equivalent during that montage scene, but whatever. Did the 12 labors. Uh, he is a m immense hand-to-hand -hand combatant. Uh, like, it's, like, he can fight with the best of them in the Marvel Universe. And he's a pro wrestler, or a professional wrestler. He's got, you know, like, Greek wrestling, hand-to-hand -hand boxing, things along those lines. 
uh, high durability, like it takes someone the likes of the Hulk or Sentry or like the upper level Marvel tier strength uh, guys, Juggernaut, to take him out or at least fight on par with him and hurt him. But he also has a regenerative healing factor. As long as he's not missing an organ or a limb, he can pretty much uh, heal from anything. Magics would require him to regrow his limb or, or organ. Um, and, of course, now we have to talk about he's also a master of hand-to-hand combat. His age has been halted, basically, because you know, he's like basically he's ageless. He can be theoretically killed. He just doesn't age. So he's nigh immortal. Uh, he's ageless. Uh, but we, we got to go to his strength. Then. Now, strength feats, while not completely um, calculated, he's got several feats. He's, uh, he's pulled the city of island of Manhattan. Uh, he pulled the island of Manhattan. That's no small feat. So, but if you believe that if the mythology behind Hercules is anything to go by, he actually held the heavens up. Um, he literally flipped, oh, grabbed, and threw over his shoulder Godzilla, who is strong enough to compete with Thor. And Godzilla, I believe, weighs somewhere in the neighborhood of around 90 tons, give or take. Um, 90 to 100 tons. And that's, like, depending on what version of Godzilla you're going with. And being because he's the god of raw strength, it's more than likely he has no true upper limit to his um, uh, to his power. Because he's fought the Juggernaut to a standstill. He's fought World War Hulk to a standstill. But then that was, that was a different scenario where he actually cited World War, War the Hulk on that. Because, like, no, I've lost someone I love too. So I completely understand that. Um, he's fought the Sentry to a standstill. He's fought all these heavy years. Basically, it takes someone who's... Beyond just pure physical strength to beat them, they need to be either magically in uh, bow, magically imbued, or have an ability like manipulation of molecules or something like that that would that he can't defend against. Um, he's fought because he's also fought to his equivalent, uh, his version of Zeus to a standstill as well. So strength-wise, he um, he's immensely. There's really no calculated limit to his strength. Um, but he's not immensely. He can be hurt, but it takes somewhat of extreme power. Or, to uh, and you know, damage inducing to hurt him. Um, anything else uh, traits that I would say he has? Um, or off the top of my head. Um, no, I mean that's that's pretty much it. So let's say universe collide and then the Hercules uh, shows up and Hercules being this kind of you know brawler, brute, drunk kind of guy. Like, ah, oh, verily, not that Thor, but ah. Uh, a uh, good comrade and blah blah blah. blah. I like, am oh, Hercules and some stupidness because let's be clear, the Hercules he's he actually pretty intelligent. This Hercules, Marvel Hercules, the Disney Hercules is more like a lovable, is just that lovable knucklehead. He's not dumb, but he's not truly. He's not smart. That's the thing. He's not smart, but he's not dumb. He's like an average intelligence, just good guy who kind of doesn't didn't have common sense for a while. Uh, or uh, social skills. So, when this fight starts off, they, you know, Hercules, I'm going to assume it's going to be Disney's Hercules who probably makes the first move, because he's a bit more rash and impulsive than Marvel Hercules. And, to be fair, he would most likely, you know, Hercules would say, ah, oh, you think you're, that Marvel is a, are you looking to free one? So let's see what you, and then Hercules will just slug him, and Marvel Hercules will go flying into whatever object, tree, building, mountain is in there. He'll get out of that and be like, Oh, so you can hit. Then this shall be fun. And then they'll go and they'll go for a fist fight. Now, in terms of a hand-to-hand combatant, Marvel Hercules has got Disney Hercules beat. From everything we've seen in Disney Hercules, he just doesn't have the combat skill to go up against someone like the Marvel Hercules, who has fought effectively some of the best, like not not necessarily best hand-to-hand fighters, though he can fight think, people, individuals like Thor to a standstill, who is extremely good at hand-to-hand combat. But combination of hand-to-hand experience and physical strength. The, Disney Hercules has only ever had to fight really individuals of either of just, you know, superior strength. No one of real extreme skill. Even the Titans were just skilled with abilities. No one in actual terms of physical prowess and hand-to-hand experience. Hercules, Disney Hercules never had to deal with that. So, in that, he, Marvel Hercules is quickly going to get the edge up on uh, Disney Hercules. Now, Disney Hercules will probably throw out a couple moves... Uh, uh, like out of nowhere, it's like, no, who, and then, then he just, be- as Marvel, Hercules is about to, like, say something, um, you know, Disney Hercules, you know, does that fa- old-fashioned headbutt to the gut, and, you know, maybe knocks the wind out of that Hercules, and maybe just, boom, smash it, ugh, 
pulls out a sword. It's like, ha ha, now I should. It's like, now, it's like, you, this ends. It's like, oh, if this not the end, this just begun. And then, you know, they both bring their swords down. Now, here's the thing. Strength-wise, we don't know the true limits of either of these characters' strength. But if we are to gauge based on what we have seen from them, you could actually make an argument that Mar Disney Hercules could be stronger. But it wouldn't be by much, because the size of the Hydra, I'm well, actually, I mean, when you factor in the size of the Hydra, he didn't lift the Hydra or anything. So that's not, um, that's not a big feat. But then when you think that it, it with one sh uh, smash, he brought an avalanche down from a m giant mountain, that's an impressive feat to be pulling off. However, and then, of course, you could always go into the whole Disney argument of, you know, the animated series where he lifted the sun wearing oven mitts. But we're not going to go into that because that's just that that's not fair. And that it, that's really I mean, OK, if you want to go by that argument that you actually lifted the sun, then theoretically this Hercules is stronger. But then at the same time, if you want to go by that logic, we have to assume that the 12 labors that Marvel's Hercules did were in canon to what he actually did, ergo, he held the entire cosmos over his head. Therefore, Hercules Marvel wins in terms of pure strength. <laughs> um, but, you know, that's just me. Uh, so, it, it's going to break actually break down to who's going to take the more damage more quickly and who's going to tire up faster. And it's going to be the Disney Hercules. Between the two of them, he's the one we've seen be far more easily susceptible to damage and pain and injury to the point where he could more than likely die from someone of equal caliber as opposed to Marvel Hercules, who's just got far more enchantment, physical prowess, and overall mysticism or mystical elements to stave off death. So, in the end, I've got to give it to, and this is really, there's no like percentages on it, it's either win or lose, and i got to give it to Marvel Hercules. Uh, Marvel Hercules just beats Disney Hercules in terms of just an actual fight. Now, Disney was a nice guy. Nah, you know, but Disney Hercules is a nice guy. But that being said, Marvel Hercules is like the superior womanizer. He gets the ladies all the time. Wolverine says, like, I don't know how he does it. In the bar, out of the bar, but whatever women want, he's got it. Um, so, but yeah, that's that's my thought on Hercules versus Hercules. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, share, subscribe. As always, if you want to review something, put in the comments below. Let us know. We'll do a review of it at some point. So I'll be back on Wednesday with who would win, Kimpachi versus unknown opponent. We'll get to that when we get to that. Till then, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. See you next time.